Bonjour, bonjour, j'espère que vous allez bien. Voilà, voilà. Good day everyone. Hello, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing well. So our topic for today is reflexive verbs part one. To say reflexive verbs in French, we say les verbes à sens réfléchi. Les verbes à sens réfléchi. So we're going to be doing an initial recap of a class we did in the week of March 26. And then we'll be going into talking about conjugating reflexive verbs, identifying different reflexive verbs, and eventually learning how to talk about our daily routine in French. In the pre-COVID period, and now that we're in this crisis, how do we talk about the things that we do daily? Okay? Hope you're excited. J'espère que vous êtes très enthousiaste. On y va. Let's go. Question, comment s'appelle ton école? Comment s'appelle ton école? Comment? Maman. That is what is the name of your school or literally speaking? What is your school? Okay, everybody with me. So I'm sure that you did not know that all along the verb sapele, the, sa the verb sapele is a reflexive verb. Okay, what is a reflexive verb? Okay, every time you you would have been saying je m'appelle, for example, je m'appelle Anicia, je m'appelle Haley, je m'appelle Mademoiselle Taylor, je m'appelle Lisa Hannah. We're literally saying, I am called Lisa Hannah, I am called Haley, I am called Anicia. Okay? Je m'appelle is I am called. All right? But when we're translating it to English, it becomes my name is. All right? So all along when you've been saying je m'appelle, you've been using a reflexive verb. What is a reflexive verb? A reflexive verb is a verb that brings the action that is being done back to the speaker. So for example, if I'm saying, I hit the, the dog, I hit the dog or I slapped the dog, where's the action? Who is the action being done to I slapped the dog? The dog. It's been done to the dog. However, if I say I hit myself, what am I, who's the action being done to? Yourself. Exactly, the speaker, right? So... Whenever you say, whenever you see s or s apostrophe in front of a verb, you know that the verb you're dealing with is a reflexive verb. And what is a reflexive verb? A reflexive verb is a verb that brings the action being performed back to the speaker. All right? So in English, we have pronouns like myself, herself, himself, itself, oneself, themselves, ourselves right we're all familiar with those pronouns okay those are reflexive pronouns basically they bring the action that is being done by the verb back to the speaker judith is speaking to herself elle se parle all right judith is speaking to herself i hope not elle se parle all right judith se parle she's speaking to herself all right michaela is looking at herself michaela se regarde Elle se regarde. So those two verbs I just said were se parler, se regarder. Okay? Se parler would mean, what does parler normally mean? What does parler normally mean? Mighty God. What does parler normally mean? The verb parler, what does the verb parler mean? Talk. To speak. The so, parler means to speak to oneself. And so regarde, what does regarde normally mean? Watch. Okay. It can also mean in some cases to look at oneself. So once goes in front of a verb, you know that you're dealing with a reflexive verb. Everybody with me? Everybody understand that so far? If you're not understanding, please go ahead and raise your hand and I'll be happy to go over it for you. 
Everybody with me so far? We're looking at reflexive verbs, yes? All right. If you're with me, just go ahead and give a hand clap, a thumbs up. Let me be certain that you're with me, that you're understanding. I can feel your excitement. Oh, my God. It's so moving. Thank you very much, Michaela. All right. So reflexive verb is a verb that brings the action being performed back to the speaker. All right. So let's look at a common verb that we know. Lave means to wash. Okay, everybody say lave. 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 All right. So lave means to wash. Se lave, and I hope you all did that this morning. Se lave means to wash oneself. All right. So the se is a pronoun that brings the action being performed back to the speaker. All right. So now let's look at how do we conjugate a reflexive verb. All right. How do you conjugate a reflexive verb? Basically, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to, oh, Jesus. C'est moche, c'est moche, c'est moche, c'est moche, ça ne va pas aller. All right, so let me, hmm. let me start like I did with everyone else. Je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle. All right, so those are the pronouns. How do we conjugate a reflexive verb? The first thing we're going to do we're going to conjugate the verb. It's okay. Just give me a minute, please, Judith. All right. It's, it's right here on the screen. You should be able to still see it. Reflexive verb is a verb that brings the action being, perfor being performed back to the speaker. We are did my thing. Or the subject. The subject. All right, so we have the pronouns. Now, the first thing we're going to do so that you all follow and you understand, how do we conjugate the verb se laver? We're looking at the verb se laver. How do we conjugate the verb se laver? We're going to conjugate it in the same way that we normally conjugate the verb laver. Laver is a regular ER verb, so you're going to say je lave. Tu laves. Il, elle, en, lave, without the S at the end. Nous, lavons. Vous, lavez. And il, elle, lave. Everybody with me so far? Everybody with me? Ça va? Everybody understand? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, wonderful. Merci beaucoup. So basically, we conjugate the verb like you would normally conjugate the verb. Okay, if it's regular, we conjugate it regularly. We follow the rules of conjugation. Now, remember that je lave means what? What does je lave I mean? Wash. I, I wash. Have. Excellent. Very good. We're on the same page. So je lave means I wash. But remember that a reflexive verb brings the action being done back to the speaker you get me so we need to then account for the sub part of it the reflexive pronoun there are pronouns that we're going to have to insert here that goes before the conjugated verb that will ensure that we know that the action of washing is being done back to the speaker so to conjugate the verb se laver you'd say je me lave tu te lave il elle en se lave nous nous Lavant, vous vous lavez, il elle se lave. Everybody with me here? So what these here? The, the Miss Wido, Miss Wido, no one will change. Because that's just the way it is, girl. 
they weren't I, I guess I don't know they were concerned that it would be too much for you guys to retain until the French Academy decided that new is gonna remain new so you're gonna just add a second new and would be vous vous okay vous vous okay. l'avez nous nous l'avons all right they decided to make her life simpler okay all right mm -hmm. so merci beaucoup so these are the reflexive pronouns so you must put these reflexive pronouns here because this is what would bring the action being done back to the speaker. So if we're saying, I wash myself, we'd say, je me lave. You wash yourself, tu te lave. He washes himself, il se lave. She washes herself, elle se lave. One washes oneself, on se lave. It washes itself, il se lave or on se lave. We wash ourselves. Nous nous lavons. You wash yourself, please. Vous vous lavez, s'il vous plaît. Il, elle se lave. They wash themselves. Is that clear for everyone? Yes, miss. Is that clear for everyone? Any questions, yes. comments, queries, concerns? Questions? Comments? Queries? concerns okay Sava wow it's wonderful so I need one wonderful person to tell me how do we conjugate the sentence right here the verb in the sentence miss. here me go ahead please who is who's miss Anisia go ahead Olivia this is Coley who's who's answering let me see the hands please Coley Go ahead, Coley. All right, so, yeah, wait, wait. Look at Henry. Look at Henry, um, not Henry. It's yeah, at uh, the start sorry. of Look French words, uh, Henry. Sorry. Look at Henry, yes. Say love, 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 on, sorry, love in, sorry, whatever that for how do, how, do how do you pronounce that, ladies, sir? How do you pronounce L-A-V-E-N-T? Love, love in. Très bien, se lave, se lave, love. se lave. Se lave. Ok. Se Luke lave. Luke et Henri se lave. Luke et Henri se Ok, ok, ok. Donc... So we just learned how to conjugate reflexive verbs, right? So now we're going to be looking at common reflexive verbs that we will encounter, especially as we are going to be talking about our daily routines. What are the things that we normally do, okay? So common reflexive verbs include, for example, se laver. Se laver is a verb that we just learned how to conjugate as the example, and we know it means to wash oneself. All right, so we can also say se laver les mains, something that they're telling us to do a lot right now. Se laver les mains, okay? Se laver les mains means to wash your hands. Now, even though you're washing your hands, if I'm saying I am washing my hands, I would say je me lave les mains. I would say je me lave les mains. I would not say je me lave mes mains. Let me see if I can get this up here so you can have an example. Je me Oh no. Je me lave Um, listen guys, don't judge me. Je me lave. That's an E at the end here. This is an E. Je me lave. Les mains. Les. Les mains. Bravo, beautiful. Je me lave les mains. Yeah. 
be doing this for Alfie, honestly. Je me lave les mains is I wash my hands. Now, even though we know that the word for my is literally M-E-S, right? M-E-S, plural, M. That means my. But we're not going to use my when we're talking about something that we're doing to ourselves. For example, I wash my hands. We're not going to say, je me lave mes mains. We're not going to say that. Okay, we're not going to say, je me lave mes mains. We're going to say, je me lave les mains. Why? Because the m already indicates that the action is being done to yourself. So you're not going to put me ma, you're going to put le ma. Everybody get that? So you're saying je me lave le ma. I am washing my hands. Alright? Je me lave le ma, not me ma. Okay, the fact that the verb is already reflective. That's not good right there at all. The fact that the verb is already reflective, we don't need to put me. We're just going to put le. Alright? So, se laver les mains, to wash your hands. Se laver le visage, to wash your face. Se lever is to get up. So, you could have woke up already. You could have already been awake in your bed. But you would not have yet gotten out of bed. Se lever is to get up or to also stand up. If you are seated, se lever is to get up. You hear me say it from time to time in class. Levez-vous, stand up. That's, that was the, the reflexive verb all along okay se lever is to get up and then we have se peigner se peigner se peigner hair means to comb one's hair all right if i'm saying i am combing my hair je me peigne les cheveux je me peigne les cheveux i'm combing my hair se peigner is to comb one's hair right and then we have se raser se raser, something that both males and females do. Can se raser to shave. Alright, so you can raser les jambes. Je me rase les jambes. I am shaving my legs. Se raser les jambes. Then we have se reposer. Se reposer, se reposer means to rest. Okay? Not necessarily sleep, but just to rest. Okay? Se réveiller, se réveiller means to wake up. To maquiller is to put on makeup. To baigner is to bathe. Okay, you get in the tub and you have your rubber ducky and you take a bath. To baigner, that's different from to douche. To baigner is to bathe. All right. Um, what you notice as well is that to baigner will also be used to mean to swim. For example, you know, is that you're saying I go and bathe in the sea, but it's not like you're bathing like with soap. You just going for a swim. Se baigner dans la mer, to go to swim in the sea. Okay? Se baigner. You also have se brosser. Se brosser is to brush oneself. You can brosser les dents, brush your teeth. You can brosser les cheveux, brush your hair. Alright? So coiffer is to do one's hair. So we have different expressions for your hair. Se peigner, to comb your hair, se brosser, to brush your hair, to brush your cheveux, to brush your hair, and to coiffe, to do your hair, okay? Then we have to coucher. To coucher means to go to bed, night, or maybe it's mid-afternoon, I don't know, you've gone to bed, to coucher, all right, je me couche. To dépêcher, to dépêcher means to hurry up. Oui, maman, je me dépêche. Yes, mom, I am hurrying. Je me dépêche. Je me dépêche. I'm hurrying. Sabier. Sabier is to get dressed. It's what you do in the morning. It's what you do to go to bed. Sabier. Alright? To déshabiller. To get undressed. And to doucher. To doucher. To take a shower. Savala, Are you all with me? So these are common reflexive verbs that you will use when you're talking about your daily routine. I need you to retain them. I need you to start practicing the use of them all right because you'll be looking very shortly at expressing our daily routine pre-covid and current covid if that interests you all right so let's say you get up at 6 a.m you say je me lève i get up je me lève à 6 heures le matin 
Je me lève à 6 heures le matin. I get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay? So, please note as well. Let me, let me get to that bridge. We'll cross it. All right, let's continue, Aniva. So we have other reflexive verbs like sapele, which we know to be called, all right? So fâché, to get angry. So fâché, to get angry. So fatigué, to get tired. Some of fat, no, bad example. Fa, so fatigué, to get tired. Je me fatigue. S'habituer à, who is getting used to staying indoors? S'habituer à, s'habituer à, je m'habitue à rester chez moi. I'm getting used to staying by me at my house. I don't know. S'habitue à to get used to. S'inquiéter to worry. I hope nobody, I hope no one is inquieting. Okay. S'énerver is to get annoyed. Se marier is to get married. Se moucher is to blow your nose. Please do not do that in public and get taken away, God forbid. Se promener is to take a walk. Se regarder is to look at oneself. And to couper, for example, to couper les cheveux. To couper les cheveux is to cut your hair. All right? Ça va là? So it was s'appeler, se fâcher, se fatiguer, s'habituer à, s'inquiéter, s'énerver, se marier, se moucher, se promener, se regarder, to look at oneself, and to couper, to cut. Himself, or to cut. For example, to couper, les cheveux, to couper les cheveux is to cut your hair. Now, if you notice, there are some verbs that stand alone. Like, for example, promener, right? Or regarder, to watch the television. Regarder la television. Couper, couper la viande, to cut the meat. Couper les legumes, to cut the vegetables, right? So, some verbs can become reflexive once you put the se in front of them. Verbs can become reflexive by just putting the se in front of it. Okay? And continue. Okay, d'accord. On continue. So we just learned about the different reflexive verbs that we have. The most common ones that we could say. Now let's go au travail. Let's get to work. All right? So we're going to complete the sentences or you are going to complete the sentences by correctly conjugating the reflexive verbs in the brackets. All right? So, on y va. Let's go. Numéro 1, number 1. It says, Luke et Louise blanc les cheveux. We know that se peigner means to, to comb. So, Luke and Louise are combing their hair. Which pronoun can substitute for Luke et Louise? Which pronoun can substitute for Luke et Louise? Luke, masculine. Louise, feminine. Alright? Which pronoun would that be, Aniva? Let me hear it. D'accord. That is eel. If you said eel, they, masculine, plural, it would be correct. Now we notice that eel is masculine, plural. But as we have learned already, when it comes to French words, il is not only masculine, plural, but if you have a mixed group, males and females, you are still going to use il. You could say it is gender neutral in that situation, okay? Il is for masculine, plural subjects, or also for mixed subjects. That subjects that are plural, and have both males and females being mentioned. Okay? So now that we've identified il is masculine plural, how will we conjugate the penis? The penis. The home. How are we going to conjugate that? Facile, hein? So easy. On y va? Luke et Louise se peignent les cheveux. Numéro 2. That's very easy. Chu is already given. The pronoun is already given. So, all we have to do is conjugate the verb s'amuser, which is over here. Alright? Chu. What, what's it gonna be? Tu vois? 
Shooter Muse. Ok? Tu t'amuses en ce moment chez toi. Are you having fun? Are you enjoying yourself right now at your house? So number three kind of jumps out there. Mon grand-père. Spoiler alert. It is actually il. Mon grand-père, my grandfather. Mon grand-père is the subject of the sentence. And il is the pronoun that can substitute for mon grand-père. So mon grand-père, il. Blank, toujours de mon anniversaire. My granddad always remembers my birthday. Now, please use word reference like I showed you in that other video to know how you conjugate verbs. All right, it's very important. Some of these verbs they have differences in spelling. For example, Swahili, you're gonna have another L being added for all of the pronouns. Je, tu, il est long. No and who do not have the additional L, but il and L plural have it as well. Alright? Same thing it's on you when you get to it, you're gonna see the difference in spelling. But bref. Mon grand père se rappelle. Il se rappelle toujours de mon anniversaire. Mon grand père se rappelle toujours de mon anniversaire. My grandfather always remembers my birthday. Number four, you can get this one. Toute la population jamaïcaine, the entire Jamaican population, all of the Jamaican population. Okay, which what it, which pronoun can substitute for toute la population jamaïcaine? Is it? Feminine, masculine, singular, plural. Okay, on y va. L. Why is it L? Simply because it's too la population. La population. Even though the population is a lot of persons, it is singular. Collective. Okay? So how we're gonna conjugate the verb se préparer There we go, toute la population jamaïcaine se prépare pour le coronavirus. Okay. Numéro 5, les étudiantes blanques à la maison dans cette quarantaine. Les étudiantes, ES. You know the ES, which pronoun can substitute for les étudiants? Let's give away. Is it masculine plural or singular plural? L, les étudiants. L, they, étudiants, because ES here indicates that we're talking about female students. Les étudiants sont nuits. They get, they're getting bored. They're bored at home in this quarantine period. Sabie means to get dressed. So, little kitty, tigama, vous, vous habillez tout seul. Bravo. Ça va là? Are we all on the same page? Just grab bien. So, look over. Identify the pronoun that can substitute for the subject of the sentence and then proceed to conjugate the verb. It's very important. All right? And continue.
quick question are you going to bed late right now because you know you don't have school necessarily in the morning as you used to and are you going out for little walks just to have a little take a little breather who is waking up at midday now anybody but nobody is getting into arguments with their brothers and sisters we'll continue Sankiete is to worry, and if you notice here with this conjugation, the e you have the accent grave. Right here in the infinitive, you have the accent to you. All right, the one that goes left to right upward, sankiete, with up of the intonation. But here you have sankiete. All right, please note that difference. All right, and check out its conjugation. It's very imperative. You guys were told to conjugate at least. 10 of the reflexive verbs so please go through and check the conjugation of these verbs yes. We'll continue. Okay, don't uh, we have just looked at conjugating some very common reflexive verbs. Now we'll be looking at daily routines using common reflexive verbs, okay? The routine quotidian, daily routines, things that we do daily. Alright, so like this girl going to school, at what time do you get up out of your bed? At what time do you wake up? At what time do you go for breakfast, take a shower, um, brush your teeth, leave, catch early morning bus? What time do you get to school? What time is your first class? Remember, we did that a bit when we were talking about our timetable. Alright, so we're looking at the routine quotidian, and we'll be doing a comparison of sorts between what our routines were like before COVID and now that we're in this crisis, um, in this crisis, what our routines look like now. Okay, so let's make the most of this opportunity. And uh, I hope that you enjoy it. So here we have different things that comprise your daily routine. Now please note, not because it's a part of your routine, not all of them are reflexive verbs, okay? So I'm going to circle the ones that are reflexive verbs. As you know, waking up in the morning, that's a reflexive verb in French. Getting up, that's another reflexive verb, right? Not all of them are though. Taking a shower, that's another reflexive verb. I'm not getting this thing right. Take a shower. Brushing your teeth. Washing your face, putting on your makeup, if you put on makeup, combing your hair, brushing your hair, drying your hair, shaving, srazi, taking a bath. How do you say to take a bath in French? We're gonna be looking at it just now. Getting dressed. Okay. Then you have getting undressed. And then going to bed. So there are many verbs that we'll be using, different verbs that we'll be using when we're talking about our daily routines. However, please note that not all of the verbs that we use are actually reflexive verbs. For example, to have breakfast, you'd say je prends. That's a verb prendre, which means to take, but we know that as it relates to when we're talking about food, it's like I have. So, je prends le petit déjeuner, I'm having breakfast. We're not going to work, but you go to school. Don't say aller à l'école. Aller à l'école to go to school, comme vous le savez, as you know. You go back home, c'est rentrer chez soi, chez moi. Rentrer chez moi, to go back home, to go back to my house. To cook, say cuisine. Cuisine. Or you could also say préparer le repas to prepare the meal. 
All right, so we'll be looking at this shortly. To have a lunch. What time do you have lunch? At what time? Have lunch, it is? Le déjeuner. Prends le déjeuner. Have dinner, dîner. To have dinner. Drink, boire. De la du lait, some milk. Du coca, some coca-cola. I don't know. Watch TV, regarder la télévision. And sleep, dormir. So let's look at the reflexive verbs that we would use to describe our daily routine. And when you're doing this exercise, I want you guys to look at the time. If you wake up at five o'clock, if you used to wake up at five o'clock to get ready, you're gonna say, je me lève à cinq heures le matin. We're gonna break it down in another video, all right? Sorry, je me réveille, wake up, je me réveille. Excuse me, je me réveille à cinq heures le matin. I wake up at 5 a.m. But je me lève. So je me réveille. I wake up at 5 a.m. But je me lève. At 5 heures et demi. Je me lève. At 5 heures et demi. I get up at 5.30 a.m. Let's go. So to wake up, c'est se réveiller. Get up. Se lever. Take a shower, se doucher, to brush your teeth, se brosser les dents, se brosser les dents, to wash your face, se laver le visage, se laver le visage, to shave, any form of shaving you're doing, se raser, se raser, to brush your hair, se brosser les cheveux, to brosser les cheveux. To comb your hair. To peigner les cheveux. To peigner les cheveux. To comb your hair. To maquiller is to put on makeup. To maquiller. To baigner is to take a bath. To baigner. Then s'habiller to get dressed. Sabier to get dressed. To get undressed. Se déshabiller. Se déshabiller. And then to go to bed. Se coucher. Se coucher. So you're going to identify the different verbs. You can use this as a framework, as a guide to write about your routines, okay? On y va. We will be describing our pre-COVID daily routine, that is what time we'd get up, what time we'd wake up, what time we'd bathe, do our hair, have breakfast, go to school, have lunch, what time we'd study, as all of you are bright sparks and I know you're always studying, what time would you go home, what time would you have dinner, what time would you go to bed, do you watch the TV, do you read, maybe you play a musical instrument, we're talking about your pre-COVID daily routine, okay? We talk about your COVID routine. We're staying home and studying French and being very productive. N'est-ce pas? Isn't that so? Yeah, we. And as we know, this depicts us washing our hands. Se laver les mains. Se laver les mains. Okay, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. The following video will come and information on how to do your paragraph your description of your daily routine in French okay au revoir tout le monde bon bon weekend ciao ciao bonne continuation à bientôt Bonjour.